Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I am going to do a review video on the KVD Good Apple Foundation. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I bought this before this even blew up on TikTok. Do you know what it was? It's just me sitting here. Um, because when I look at it, I'm like, oh, it don't look like my shade. It don't look like my shade. I don't know how this video is going to come out. This is... Brand new, I bought this off of Boots um, because I got an email just saying like, oh, a new foundation. And I was like, what's a skin perfecting foundation balm? I was a little bit intrigued by that. I bought this for £29 um, on the actual KVD website. I think it says it's going for $38. It's actually sold out, like incredibly sold out on the KVD website, which is so funny because tiktok did this i'm pretty sure tiktok really did this but um what it says on here it says it's infused with apple extract to help nourish skin that's it now i thought that was super vague uh, like i want to know what so it's a skin perfecting foundation balm it's got apple extract to help nourish skin but what about it like what's the finish what's it gonna do is it gonna last so i come to the website to see what 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 and what it is the details are a uh, good apple foundation balm gives you fast lightweight full coverage with a fresh matte finish and it says fresh matte finish with a question mark yep not flat not dewy just right skin that looks like skin high performance lightweight get one and done buildable full coverage that lasts all day and feels like you're not even wearing foundation quickly cover up uh Quickly cover blemishes and discoloration for an instant confident boost. It's flashback free, non-cakey, and, it, uh, and it'll last all day. That's nice. And it says the vegan foundation is infused with apple extract and sodium hyaluronate to help nourish and hydrate skin. It's creamy, non-comedogenic, and it minimizes the appearance of pores for a smooth, healthy look. It's best for balanced to dry skin, but oily folks can use it too. Okay, cool. I mean, it's, it's bought me. Um, I bought it even without knowing what it was anyway, so I, <laughs> I done bought into it already. Um, this is in light 015, I'm not going to lie to you. It's looking a bit warm, it's looking a bit orange tone, so I have no bloody idea how this is going to look. Really like the packaging though, really, really like the packaging. This packaging is beautiful, so this is what it looks like. Nice. I've decided I'm going to use half brush and half dry sponge. I've already started recording, I can't be bothered to go out and um, damp my sponge, but I love using a dry sponge anyway, even if it does soak up the product, I was all going to use it. Alright, so my skin is moisturised, I'm going to use the handy dandy um, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, this is one of the best brushes I think for foundation, um, I'm going to take some of that, I'm really scared because on TikTok they've been taking like a couple dashes and just going down and it looks incredible, so... Yishi. Lord Jesus, okay. Sis is, um, yeah, she pigmented. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God, and it matches me. Oh, this is the second time my makeup skills actually kick in better than I thought. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now I understand why everyone's going crazy over it on, uh, on TikTok videos. They're like doing one swipe and they're like, what the hell is this? I agree. What the hell? The coverage on that is crazy. Hold on. Hey, yo, the coverage on this, this goes crazy. That wasn't even a lot. Oh my goodness, okay. This really be covering up everything. I got really red skin as well, so. The one thing I'm worried about with balms and stuff is how it soaks into the skin. Like on camera for me, what I can see on the camera, it's really getting into my pores, like proper getting into my pores it's making my skin look a little bit pory but let me just i might blend it out with a sponge later to see if it kind of softens in well oh my god what the hell is that that is some crazy coverage okay so that's half my face pretty much done now i'm gonna get my sponge 
this is gonna be this is gonna give me so much coverage because it's dry as well dry sponge really gives you um some high coverage so Eesh. Yeah, this coverage, this coverage is going crazy. I didn't expect it to go off like that, really. You know, people sometimes gas up how um, full coverage a product is like this. Yeah, this is this is full coverage in a sweep. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit speechless because that really... Um, That really covered up my, that really covered up my face like real quick I'm, I think I prefer the brush uh, than the sponge maybe a I don't know I don't know how I feel with a damp sponge with this type of consistency I'm not sure um I think I really like it with the brush the brush it just applies much quicker much better and it's really flawless I've got a little bit of a like a scar from a spot so I'm just going to take a little bit of the uh, foundation it did say on the website you can spot conceal just take it with your finger so just a little bit Yeah, that did give it extra coverage. That is crazy. So yeah, I mean. <laughs> you know, foundations don't really blow me away like this, to be honest. There's, I, do you know why? Because I'm so used to using just normal liquid foundations. Like the last time I'm pretty sure I did like a, a really good um, liquid foundation was the L'Oreal, um, inf it's faded, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Since I've done this review, this is the only foundation that I've been using since. And um, now this, this again, this has, this, this, this has shocked me. I'm really shocked and look how much I used from it. Seriously, look how much I used from it just to do my whole face. This is all that I used. Barely anything, barely anything and my face is already covered up. Like my face is done. Redness gone. Who's redness? Cause it's not here. I don't know who redness is. Wow. Okay, well, to be honest with you, I I am not a matte type of girl. This doesn't look incredibly matte to me. So to me, this is actually quite nice. I like this, um, this look, this finish. Uh, so to me, it doesn't look bad. And wow, I'm surprised I even got a match. I've been doing really well recently. I'm really proud of myself. So, yeah this this is how the foundation looks just after it's been applied i'm going to set it i'm going to finish the rest of my face i'm gonna i'm gonna finish it off by the time i finish it off i'm just gonna do a plain jane makeup look by the time i finish it off it might be maybe half an hour so it's 145 now i'm just gonna finish off my makeup and we're gonna see what the final look looks like because between now and half an hour or an hour's time uh, depending on when i finish my look i just want to see how it settles into the skin because it doesn't look great immediately you need to let it like sit into your skin let the a little bit of the oils in your skin settle the makeup and really put it together so give a minute i'll be right back okay so i finished my look it is 251 i ended up spending a little bit over an hour doing all of that i was just vibing to some drake and some frank ocean so i couldn't help it um simple look <laughs> um let me just grab me a mirror do you know what this close-up I look flawless. It didn't take too much to look flawless. Uh, I I tried, you know, when you're going through your For You page on TikTok, I just could not help watching these videos. I didn't want to, um, what's the word? I never saw how this looked. I didn't know how it looked at all. I thought it was just like a, a tinted balm foundation until I stumbled across one of these videos and I was just like, oh, should I watch it? I ended up watching it because it was a good video. So I was like, okay, let me just watch it. And the way it looked on her skin, it just looked incredible. And I was like, 
bloody hell that looks amazing now i need to do um a review on that asap i bought this i don't know how many weeks ago now i think a week or more than a week um ago and it's been just sitting on over there just been it's just been sitting right here and um you know i look i look great <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to you i look great my skin looks great the only thing i think i can mention i think this is the only thing i think i can mention i think it's very slightly clings onto dry patches just slightly um and it's not just on the sponge side and it's not just on the brush side i think it does it to both sides um it doesn't help that i haven't been keeping up with my skincare routine obviously that doesn't help but it only slightly clings onto it. Only when you're looking hella close up into the mirror will you notice it. Um, I think that's the only thing I can say. Uh, everything else, apart from that, it matches my skin fantastic. And mind you, I did this online m like everyone else, unless you're from America. And I don't know if they have it in front of you in Ulta or Sephora. But um, I did it online. I just looked through the um, reference pictures it gave me and I was just like, mm. I know I'm light and I know I'm a yellow undertone, but I need to, I don't want to get it too light and I don't want to get it too dark. So I ended up going with a 15. So to be honest, this thing here, a little goes a long way. I mean, you can see how much I use. I barely, it's just a slight touch of it. You could see, I think I dipped my brush into there maybe two or three times. Whew, boy. I mean, you saw it, it really, it just swiped on. And the thing is, it is right because it doesn't feel like I have any makeup on at all. Like my skin feels light. Yeah, I don't think it looks crazy matte. It just looks like skin. I didn't put any illuminating products underneath either. I just simply hydrated. And um, this is giving me the same um, look as my fresh wear. And I really like this. Um, it looked flawless. It looked nice. And um, for £29, which is a basic high-end foundation, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. And um, this apparently is recyclable. So once you're finished completely and you, you've you like cleaned it up all the way, there's no more product, you can just pop it in a recycling bin, um, bin bag, recycling bin. And it just, it gets recycled. That's some, that's some good stuff. And it's vegan. Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm very impressed by this, honestly. Love the packaging, love the product does a good job so this is after an hour my skin still looks good i feel like it's really settled into the skin uh now and i feel like i look flawless and i'm really um i'm really enjoying it i really like the look so yeah this is my natural look with the foundation as you can see i just think i look very flawless all the products blend on top of it really well it doesn't go patchy it doesn't rub away the foundation um everything just goes together i used powder highlighter powder blush powder bronzer um setting powder loose setting powder and my skin still looks great and um i'm really liking the look um of this foundation and i can just i can really and honestly very very honestly say i can feel myself gravitating towards this foundation because it's so easy to use you just pop it open get your brush and you're good to go um instead of you know pumping foundation onto your hand then mixing it with illuminator that's what i tend to do but um i only have one one thing to say and it was just about clinging onto the dry patches but other than that this is a if it weren't for the dry skin part, this is a 9.5 out of 10. If it weren't for the dry skin, it would have been a 10 out of 10 for me, for real. And um, I'm not just saying that to be biased. I'm not just saying that because TikTok is hyping it up. I'm genuinely saying it looks incredible. My skin is flawless. I don't spot one thing wrong about this other than the tiny part of the clinging to the dry skin. So take it as you will. I definitely say give it a go, 100% give it a go because um, it's giving off such good coverage and it feels so good with only just a balm, barely any, like you didn't have to put too much on. This stuff is, this stuff is great, seriously, give it a go, see if you can find your shade. They have a lot on the website um, of swatches on arms and then they give you like a little um, graph of if you use the KVD uh, foundations, like the Locket foundations, what 
you might be in the balm. So um, I think that's really helpful. I don't actually own any um, KVD products, so I think this might be my first, might be either my first or second. I might have owned like a mini Lolita or something, but this is my big, my first purchase of like an actual KVD product, and um, I really like it. Really good stuff. I'm very impressed. So well done, KVD. You did something good. Um, so yeah, that is my review. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.